Well, parents know bedtime with babies and toddlers, it can be a real struggle. But Dr. Harvey Karp is here this morning to talk about healthy sleeping habits for infants, toddlers, even the big kids. Thanks so much for coming in. Yeah, my pleasure. And Happy you, to be here. And you brought Mama some, four, you're the expert. Ma oh, my gosh. Far from expert, <laughs> especially when it uh, comes to sleeping. Even like I told you I needed you with the twins yeah. because that was a real struggle for us. We're still struggling, as many parents out there are, as far as sleep routine goes. Yeah, well, and routine is the perfect word because the more kids, a lot of times they can't tell time, you know, they can't tell time yeah. on the clock, but they figure out what's coming up next by the routine you set. So in general, one of the best ways to help kids be good sleepers is to have good routines. And that means starting at breakfast. Mm -hmm. So bedtime routine starts in the morning with eating a good breakfast, not having caffeinated stuff like iced tea or cola, and then getting out, getting fresh air and getting sunlight because sun sets your brain's internal melatonin it's your brain's own hormone that gets you on the regular sleeping routine really mm -hmm. that's interesting so the more they can get outside the more that we can keep them active on a healthy diet obviously we can't yeah. always we're going through those fast food lines <laughs> when it comes to those soccer practices no sometimes one's perfect. no one's perfect Melatonin. Yeah. This has been a big talker recently, um, especially when it comes to kids that are in like the preschool age, because we know that can be a difficult time for us to get them to sleep at a decent time because they got to go wake up early for school, whatever the case may be. What are your thoughts on that? So you can buy melatonin at the drugstore and it makes you think it's like just a vitamin and it's like nothing, mm -hmm. but it is a hormone. It's a brain hormone. So if your doctor recommends it, that's one thing, but you don't want to go taking it on your own if you don't have to. Hey, use your natural hormone, your natural melatonin. So when you're out in the sunlight, that reduces your melatonin so you feel awake and ready for the day. But an hour before bedtime, start turning down the lights, turning on the white noise even before bedtime, and that signals the brain to start releasing its own melatonin so you can use the, what the body wants to do normally instead of trying to give them supplements. Because even when you buy the melatonin, studies show that you don't know how much is in there. Yeah. A study showed a lot of times it's less or it's more than what you think it's on the label. Some people mix it up and they get it mixed with, um, with cannabis or pot. Mm -hmm. you know, which is not a good thing for little kids to be having. And yeah. then tens of thousands of children get into these gummies and they OD on it. So mm -hmm. it, it's something that if you need to use it, it's okay, but do it with medical advice. Okay, some really good advice there. Um, I am familiar with this brand. Uh, mm -hmm. Four kids later, the Snoo brand, first of all, they promote um, safe sleep, which right. is very important to me. And um, it's, they also have other resources though, as far as preparing for bed. So you brought a few of them in here. Well, the key thing is for people to understand about Snoo. Snoo is a rocking bed that when the baby cries, it responds with increasing motion. And so it's kind of like you being up all night, yeah. driving in the car, you know, but now you don't have to drive in the car anymore. It, we've measured 600 million hours of sleep it automatically adds an hour or two to the baby's sleep. Which is huge, that's a yeah. lot, especially for a newborn mom. <laughs> it con responds to crying, or so dad. it calms crying down. Yeah, we're, yeah. All, we're all in it yeah. together. And now it's the only FDA de novo authorized uh, baby bed to prevent babies from rolling over. Mm -hmm. So it keeps them in that safe position. You don't need to check in the middle of the night. Oh my gosh, did the baby roll to an unsafe position? Yeah. They're gonna stay that way. And thousands of people get it for free from their employer. Anyone can rent it for about $5 a day, ships for free to your house, but thousands get it for free from Chase Bank and Under Armour and Snapchat and Dunkin' Donuts. And more really? and more, more and more um, uh, companies are giving it as a benefit because it makes the new parents rested and yeah. you come back to work feeling like you can do your job. And man, the peace of mind you have knowing that your kid is in a safe environment, I mean, that alone I think is worth it. Um, real quick, as we wrap up here too, I wanna talk about these sleep sacks sure. as well as the white noise and then the bear you brought in. So Snooze, the most awarded baby product in history. This is the most awarded sleep sack in history. Okay. It's called the five second swaddle because you know how swaddling can kind of seem like uh, you know a complicated task. But this, you just put them in, zip it up, the flaps attach, and you're good to go. Makes so it a lot easier. That's the number one. And, then, and, um, and that little cloud guy yeah. is a white noise machine with a nightlight. But what's really cool about it has a special setting that teaches children meditative or mindful breathing. 
So they can learn to get in balance and control those big emotions that they have. Absolutely. Well, Doctor, we really appreciate you taking the time coming in and chatting with us. You also have uh, two books uh, that uh, that you can uh, pick up as well. What are those two books, Ethan? I'm going to send it over to you here in just a second. So Happiest Baby on the Block, which teaches you how to be the master of little babies and okay. calm them down and get them sleeping. Really fun, The Happiest Toddler on the Block is for dealing with kids eight months to five, six years of age, yeah. like your, your kid's age. Very simple techniques, but kind of counterintuitive, but literally in a day or two, you can see improvement in your child's behavior. All right, make sure you pick up those books. I've only heard good things. Thank you so much again, like I yeah, said, for coming so in, I'm chatting with here. us. Yeah, I've learned a lot, so I hope you did too at home.